Thanks for checking out this video. So right off the top, I want to apologize for not getting this video out sooner. I usually get it out like as soon as I get the press release for what's coming to Shutter for the next month, but I ended up being pretty busy for uh, when this one hit me. So my apologies for that, but let's get into it. What is coming to Shutter in June? There's one film in particular. Well, there are a lot of films that look interesting, but there's one film in particular I'm going to let you know about when I get to it. I think it's the last one on here that I'm very interested in, and I'll tell you why. Anyway, so the first, I'm going to go through the Shutter exclusive and originals, uh, and the first one, oh, the disclaimer I usually give on this is that I will always have no spoiler reviews for the Shutter exclusive and originals the week they end up coming out on Shutter. So they usually come out on Thursdays. I will be putting out my no spoiler reviews on Mondays, sometimes Tuesdays, depending on when I get the screeners and stuff like that, but usually Mondays. So you can look for those. Now for the first one, the first one coming out June 3rd is called Caveat. Now this is available in the U.S., uh, Canada, UK, Ireland, and uh, Australia, New Zealand. Uh, lone drifter Isaac accepts a job to look after his landlord's niece, Olga, for a few days in an isolated house on a remote island. It seems like easy money, but there's a catch. He must wear a leather harness and chain that restricts his movements to certain rooms. Once Olga's uncle Barrett leaves the two of them alone, a game of cat and mouse ensues as Olga displays increasingly erratic behavior as a trapped Isaac makes a series of horrific discoveries in the house. Interesting. That is a very interesting uh, concept. I'm down. I'm very interested in that one. Next is the amusement park. I've known about this one coming because they kind of, when they secured the rights to this, they threw it out there immediately, pretty much. This is coming June 8th um, for U.S., Canada... UK, Ireland, Australia, and New Zealand. I'll just say, from now on, I'm not going to run through all of them. If it is all of them, I'll just say all of them. Got it. Uh, recently discovered and restored 46 years after its completion by the George A. Romero Foundation and produced by Suzanne de Rocher Romero, director George A. Romero's The Amusement Park, stars Martin's, uh, Martin's, oh, from the film Martin, Lincoln Mazel as an elderly man who finds himself dis disoriented and increasingly, increasingly isolated as the pains, tragedies, and humiliation of aging in America are manifested through roller coasters and chaotic crowds. Commissioned by the Lutheran Society, the film is, a per is perhaps Romero's wildest and most imaginative movie, an allegory about the nightmarish realities of growing older and uh, is an alluring snapshot of the filmmaker's early artistic capacity and style and would go on to inform his ensuing filmography, The Lost Film was restored in 4K by Indie Collect in New York City. That's too long of an explanation, in my opinion. We just need like a quick synopsis. Unfortunately, they tend to go too long on these, in my opinion. But regardless, it's a lost George A. Romero film. I'm very interested to check that one out. So the next one is called Super Deep, and that is coming June 17th. I'm going to turn this sideways. It might be easier. And that is going to be available everywhere. Yeah, everyone's getting that. I assume all the Shutter exclusives and originals, for the most part, will be everywhere. But So once again, June 17th, Super Deep. The Kola Super Deep borehole is the largest Russian secret facility. In 1984, at the depth of more than seven miles below the surface, unexplained sounds were recorded resembling the screams and moans of numerous people. Since these events, the object has been closed. A small research team of scientists and military personnel had gone down below the surface to find out the secret that the world's deepest borehole was hiding. What they have found p poses the greatest threat that humanity has ever faced. Now the future of the world is in their hands. So it's a Russian film. That sounds very interesting. Love the setup on that syn uh, quick synopsis. I'm definitely interested in that one. Next one is An Unquiet Grave, and that is coming June 24th. Everyone is also getting that one. A year after losing his wife in a car crash, Jamie convinces his sister Ava to return with him to the site of the accident and help him perform a strange ritual. But as the night wears on, it becomes clear that he has darker intentions. An Unquiet Grave is an exploration of grief and the harm we cause when we don't take responsibility for our own healing. Sounds interesting enough. A little vague for 
how good or not good it could be, but we'll see. And then the last of the originals and exclusives is coming June 29th, and that is called Vicious Fun. Great title, by the way. Uh, this is going to be available for everyone. Joel, a caustic 1980s film critic for a national horror magazine, finds himself unwittingly trapped in a self-help group for serial killers. Love the premise already. With no other choice, Joel attempts to blend in with his homicidal surroundings or risk becoming the next victim. Love that. That sounds great. I really super interested in that one. Okay. They're going to have featured collection uh, of queer horror that will be available on June 2nd. And it's just a bunch of the films that they already have on there or that are coming the, uh, in that month that will just be put together as one collection you can go and check out. So it will kind of put all the queer horror in one area. So a lot of the films, I'm not going to run through them because a lot of them are already on there. But just know June 2nd, the queer horror collection will be on there. So, coming June 1st, uh, Ginger Snaps 2 Unleashed. Unfortunately, this will only be in the United States. Ginger's sister Brigitte, or Bridget, sorry, <laughs> now a werewolf herself, must try to find a cure for her bloodlust before the next full moon while hiding out in a rehab clinic from, from a relentless werewolf. Cool. And this is good because the first Ginger Snaps is already on Shudder. Uh, and then they also have the third Ginger Snaps that's coming the same date on the first, which is Ginger Snaps Back, the beginning, also only in the U.S. Actually, a lot of these I'm seeing at the moment are only in the U.S., unfortunately. Uh, set in 19th century Canada, Bridget and her sister Ginger take refuge in a fort, which later comes under siege by savage werewolves. Regardless of how good they are or are not, I'm going to check out the, the second and third Ginger Snaps because I've never seen them before. So I'm definitely planning on doing those, and I'll probably do reviews for them. Also coming on the first, An American Werewolf in London. We all know this one, only in the United States, unfortunately. Two American college students on a walking tour of Britain are, are attacked by a werewolf that none of the locals will admit exists. Pretty simple. Almost everyone probably watching this, this video right now has seen this. And if you haven't seen this, make sure you see it. Also coming the first, Eve's Bayou. Only in the United States again, sorry. What did Eve see and how will it haunt her? Husband, father, and womanizer Louis, Louis Batiste is the head of an affluent family, but it's the women who rule this gothic world of secrets, lies, and mystic forces. Sounds interesting. And then the last movie that's coming on the first, available in the U.S. and Canada, is Burn Witch Burn. A woman who may be a witch defends her husband from forces attempting to harm him. Pretty sweet and to the point. I don't know if that sells me on it, but maybe? If you know about this film and you would recommend it, let me know. Or if you don't recommend it, also let me know. Probably more importantly if you don't recommend it. Coming June 2nd, Islands. This is for the U.S. only. Characters wander through an erotic maze of love and desire. That's it. You have my interest, though. <laughs> uh, also coming June 2nd, Terror Sisters. Available just in the U.S., Today is a day unlike any before. Today is the day Kalthum and their girlfriends imagine their revenge. That's really vague. I have no clue what that means, like what that is. When I was like, I was saying that the originals and exclusives, like the synopses were way too long. These are way too short. At least that one was way too short. Also, the last one, oh no, not the last one coming in the second. Another one coming on the second, Dare Samurai, also just in the U.S., Set in a small German village, a bloody game of cat and mouse ensues between a young, straight-shooting police officer and a cross-dressing villain with a large sword and a predilection for beheading. Okay, that sounds interesting. I could, I can be interested in that one. Also coming on the second, Thirst. This is available in the U.S. and Canada. H Holda, Holda, I guess is the name, is arrested after being accused of murdering her brother. After she is let go because of insufficient evidence, she meets Hjotr, sorry I'm doing my best, <laughs> a thousand-year-old gay vampire. Together they have to fight a cult while being investigated by a rogue detective. Could be interesting. Uh, also coming the second, Rift, which is available in the U.S. and Canada. Two men in a secluded cabin are haunted by their dead relationship. That's it. Also too vague. Uh, coming June 7th, Night of the Living Dead, the 1968 film. This is coming for everyone. This is just being re-added because it was already there some time ago and then it cycled off. So 
they're adding it back on. We all know Night of the Living Dead, not going to go there. Uh, June 7th, reunion coming to the U.S. and Canada. A pregnant woman returns to her recently deceased grandparents' old family home to spend time with her estranged mother. What begins as a tenuous reu reunion slowly turns terrifying. Sounds interesting. I could be down for that one. Uh, also, the seventh, Beyond the Door 3 for the U.S. and Canada. An introverted American student travels to Yugoslavia as part of a school trip to witness an ancient pagan ritual with a deadly secret. I'm down. Pagan rituals, I'm down. I definitely want to check that one out. Coming June 14th, Monstrous, and this is coming for everyone. A young, a young woman goes searching for answers after her friend mysteriously vanishes in Whitehall, New York, an Adirondack town known for its Bigfoot sightings. She quickly learns that an evil more sinister that an evil more sinister than she could ever imagine is hiding in the woods. More sinister than Bigfoot? I don't know. We'll find out. Also coming the 14th, The Retreat, and this is also coming for everyone. A man finds himself alone and lost after a horrifying encounter with a monster during a backpacking trip in the Adirondack High Peaks. Adirondacks again. Now he must fight for his life and sanity as he battles the evil Native American legend, the Wending Wendigo. I know about the Wendigo, and I think there's actually a film called Wendigo. It at least was on Shudder. It might still be on Shudder. I think Larry Fessenden did it, and I heard good things, so just throwing that out there. Okay, now this, the last one coming on the 14th, this is the one I'm super excited about, Evil Speak, uh, coming to the U.S. and Canada. An outcast military cadet taps, taps into a way to summon demons and cast spells on his tormentors through his computer. Now, I believe this is the film with Clint Howard in it, and if that is the case, uh, I have the Blu-ray of Ice Cream Man with Clint Howard in it, and there's the Joe Bob Briggs uh, Monster Vision version of it. And if you watch that, he interviews Clint Howard, and they talk about Evil Speak, and Joe Bob goes off about how much he loves e Evil Speak, so I'm excited for that. Coming June 15th, just for the United States, is The Conspiracy. A documentary about conspiracy theories takes a horrific turn after the filmmakers uncover an ancient and dangerous secret society. Conspiracy theories in general are horror enough, so I don't think I'll be watching that one. Uh, June 15th, coming to the U.S. and Canada, Housebound. I've seen this film. I recommend it. It is good. A young woman is forced to return to her childhood home after being placed under house arrest where she suspects that something evil may be lurking. Like I said, I recommend that. Also coming on the 15th, The Similars. This one is for the U.S. and Canada. On the rainy night of October 2nd, 1968, eight people waiting in a remote bus station for a bus heading to Mexico City start experiencing a strange phenomenon. Mm, maybe. Although I think someone recently in a comment on one of my videos recommended The Similars, so I might have to check that out. Coming June 22nd, City of the Dead. Now this is for everybody. A reporter and a psychic race to close the gates of hell after the suicide of a clergyman caused them to open, allowing the dead to rise from their graves. This is just being re-added, Lucio Fulci. It was on Shudder for a while. I guess it cycled off. It's coming back. If you haven't seen it, definitely watch it. It's great. It's not rich on story, but it looks awesome and great kills. The drill scene. I'll just say that. The drill scene. June 21st, coming to the U.S. and Canada. Homewrecker. Two women befriend each other, but one becomes obsessed with the other. That's it. I don't know. Not enough to get me interested, I don't think. And then the last film coming on June 22nd, and the last film I'm going to go over, period, because that's it, The Antenna, and that is available for the U.S., Australia, and New Zealand. In a dystopian Turkey, the government begins installing new television antennas at homes throughout the country. Mehmet, a superintendent at a crumbling apartment complex, must supervise the installation of the new antenna. When the broadcast is... Ugh, sorry. When the broadcast it transmits begins to menace the residents of the apartment complex, Mehmet must seek out the spiteful entity. That's interesting. I'd be interested in that one. So that is it, everyone. Uh, obviously, I'm most in interested in the second and third Ginger Snaps and also Evil Speak, mostly Evil Speak, if it is the film that I'm thinking it is, which I'm pretty sure it is. So 
Let me know what you're excited about, or are you not that excited? Is this not an exciting month for you for Shudder? Honestly, I'm always kind of hoping for months that there isn't much of anything I want to watch, because there still are so many films in my queue that I need to watch, uh, and I just don't have the time. So I want to find that time to kind of get caught up, but... You know, I probably never will. But anyway, put some comments down here. What are you excited about or are you not excited? Also, what would you really love to see Shudder get? Are there any particular films that you're like, man, I really wish Shudder would get that. Uh, it would make me super happy. So let's go ahead and do that. Also, do me a quick favor and hit that subscribe button uh, if you like this video or any video. Or if you find this video helpful, which hopefully someone does. Um, yeah, but just subscribe. I appreciate it. It also encourages me to keep going motivates me and I'll keep going. Uh, and then also hit the notification bell button because that way you'll know whenever new videos are coming out, whether it's one like this, in-depth analysis of a film or no spoiler review or unboxing or any of that jazz. But regardless, I thank you for taking your time to check this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.